been difficult to actually ascertain exactly how many vehicles BYD intends to sell over the next 10 years. Obviously, Tesla wants to be selling 20 million per year in 2030, which is astronomical. That would probably be more than 25% of all cars sold in 2030. But now, thanks to one of our eagle-eyed readers, we have a number for what BYD plans to sell. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, for liking, for commenting, and simply being a part of this electric revolution. My name is Sam Evans, and I hope you've had an awesome day. BYD. AAStocks.com recently reported that BYD spent RMB $727 million to win four industrial land sites in Zhengzhou with about 4,104 MU, or 676 total acres. 676 acres over four sites. That is a lot of land for car and battery factories. So BYD plan for its domestic production capacity for passenger car vehicles in 2025 to reach 3 million annually. Now this year, the company will reach between 750,000 to 850,000 vehicle sales with, of course, the majority of those being either fully electric vehicles or plug-in hybrids and hybrids. Now, in September of this year, more than 90% of the vehicles that BYD sold were either fully electrified cars or new energy vehicles. Obviously, it's logical to ascertain that by 2025, 100% of the vehicles BYD is selling will have a battery in them of some form. In other words, BYD planned to sell 3 million battery powered vehicles in 2025. Now, what do they plan for 2030? Well, apparently they plan on 5 million vehicle sales per year by the year 2030. That's a good goal to have and will probably mean they will be one of the world's largest automakers. Now on October the 18th this year, Ford revealed that it has started manufacturing the Mustang Mach-E in China. The Mach-E is produced at Chang'an Ford's manufacturing plant in Chongqing. The electric crossover brings a major difference compared to the one made in Mexico. It uses BYD batteries. In other words, the Chinese get the good car, the Americans get the not so good car. True fact. So the Mach-E is manufactured at Ford's Cortitlan plant and it uses cells from LG Energy Solutions or LG Chem. As you know, LG Chem has just recalled, well, General Motors has recalled all their cars with LG Chem batteries in them. Hyundai has had to do the same recently. And LG Chem is now apparently reportedly pivoting to lithium ion phosphate batteries. While the American made cars of the Mustang Mach E, or at least the Mexican made cars of the Mach E, don't have LIFEPO lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, apparently, Volkswagen and Lucid also use LG Energy Solutions tertiary cells. But from what I've seen, Volkswagen is not very happy with this situation and they are looking to move away from LG Energy Solutions. They've signed contracts, large battery contracts, with other suppliers and they're moving away from LG Chem. Now, the fact that BYD is a supplier to the Mach-E shows the scale at which the Chinese company is operating. A while ago, there was a rumor that Tesla would buy LFP cells from the from BYD to test the structural battery pack it is yet to deliver with its 4680 batteries. Now, apparently, Tesla have signed a contract with BYD for BYD to deliver 10 gigawatt hours of battery capacity per year to Tesla's base model vehicles. Obviously, those are the Tesla Model Y, the Model 3 standard range. Now, Elon has obviously tweeted his support of this battery pack. Somebody asked him and said to him, should we buy the version with the lithium-ion phosphate batteries in it or should we buy the other version with your higher energy density NCA chemistry cells in them? And Elon said, no, get the lithium-ion phosphate battery version. That's the battery technology of the future. Now, the Mexican-made Mustang Mach-E and the European-made model use NMC811 cells. According to the Chinese website ZHEV, they are of a specially customized square hard shell kind, which gives the impression they are prismatic. 
depending on production scale, Ford may start to export the Mach-E for Europe from China, just like Tesla does with the Model 3 and the Model Y that's made in Shanghai. Now, apparently, Ford are introducing a new way of selling cars in China. I recently made a video on how Ford is losing sales in China, on how Ford is losing sales in America right now because buyers are being alienated when going to a dealership. A lot of buyers come to a Ford dealership, they want to buy an EV, and they have a range of different issues. I talked about what those issues are in the video. I'll put a link in the description below so you can see what those issues are. Now, the video's had a lot of views, so you might have already seen it, but if you haven't, it's definitely worth watching. So, Ford are going to sell direct to the customer, just like Tesla does, in China. Now, here's the quote. Through Ford's direct sales network of electric vehicle city stores, Ford wants to have 25 stores in China by the end of this year and 100 by 2026. That's a lot of stores. Now, apparently these stores will be more like Tesla stores where you can look at the car and you can order from, but it'll be a direct sales model where you don't actually try to bargain for a price. You just pay the price like you do with Tesla. And if you want to, you can buy the car online. So the goal of these stores would be to allow you to order your electric car when you pay them a visit, or simply for you to view the car and then order it online. Now, the Chinese-made Mustang Mach-E rear-wheel drive long range actually has a pretty good range, 619 kilometers or 385 miles under the CLTC, China Light Duty Vehicle Test Cycle. But the CLTC range, it's a bit dodgy. So and Ford hasn't actually disclosed what that represents in WLTP or NEDC. My guess here would be closer to around about 500 kilometers of range. Now, according to comparative studies about CLTC, CLTC focuses on urban and suburban use, which makes them reflect low average speeds and frequent, and frequent acceleration and deceleration. In other words, it is very, very different from the other testing cycles and especially beneficial for EVs. But if you're actually driving an EV on a highway, freeway, etc., that kind of thing, in other words, the range will be a lot shorter. Now, Ford haven't actually disclosed what the range will be for the Mustang Mach-E rear-wheel drive premium long range or the rear-wheel drive standard range or the GT first edition. But ZHEV claims that in the case of the GT, it will have 492 kilometers of range, or about 305.7 miles. Now remember with the range though, with a lithium ion phosphate battery, range is extremely deceptive because if you have a vehicle with a ternary lithium battery, manufacturers recommend you don't charge them to 100%. In fact, they recommend you charge them only to 80% and discharge them to no lower than 20%. If you can, if you have to, you can use it. But in day-to-day -day use, they say don't do that. Lithium ion phosphate batteries, on the other hand, no problems. Do it in as much as you want. Charge it to 100%, discharge it to 1% to zero if you want to. Not a problem. In addition to that, in addition, lithium ion phosphate batteries get two to three times more total life, as in two to three times more actual cycles. So really, if you're buying a car, if you're buying an EV, then my personal preference right now would definitely be to buy a car with lithium ion phosphate batteries because... In most cases, the battery pack will last twice as long as a vehicle with lithium ternary batteries. Plus, I think having that concern that I'm charging my battery up too fast or to a too high of a percentage is the kind of thing I wouldn't want to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I've said many times on this channel, lithium ion phosphate batteries are the future of the battery pack. And I'm not saying this alone, by the way. This is coming from Elon Musk as well, which is surprising. So what do I see happening? By 2025, I see BYD selling 3 million units, no problems at all, potentially more than that, if they can ramp up production. I think that they'll realize over the next two years that they can sell more than 3 million cars in 2025 if they want to. It's just up to them to be able to build enough vehicles. Of those 3 million units, I see 60% being full EV and 40% being plug-in hybrid. And that's my prediction, and I'm sticking by it. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing, liking, supporting the channel, and I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.